Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. So my client here, she has thin hair all over, not necessarily just on her edges, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how I do butterfly locks on people that have thinner hair, okay? Um, so you do the exact same process as far as like the parting and as far as like, you know, adding the hair to the client's hair to braid it down. Okay, so the only really difference that I do is when I do add the Cuban Twist Marley hair, when it comes down to braiding it down, I braid it from the root because I want to make sure we have enough stability at the root and it's just not like slack at the root. Um, also, when you have thinner hair, there's a probability of it sliding down. Um, the probability increases significantly honestly for it sliding down prematurely than it should be okay because these locks should last you a while okay and um also another thing is i do the parts a little different i do the parts a little bigger because i mean you well it looks bigger however it's not as big as you may think it is okay so when you have thinner hair clients the parts may look more spaced out because of they have thinner hair. Now, you're not going to want to try to make sure everything looks so close together because when you do that, then you significantly increase the chance of breakage, okay? You want to limit breakage. You want it to be a protective style, so make sure you're doing everything that you need to do to make sure that it's a protective style, okay? I think that's super, super, super important. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that also whenever you wrap, I, if you guys have done these locks before, you do know what I'm talking about. So whenever you start to wrap, um, you ever notice that your wrist rotates as you're wrapping? So it's kind of like the lock is rotating while you're twisting it. That can cause a lot of tension and that can lead to breakage, especially on clients with thinner hair. So whenever you do that, you're going to want to make sure and just keep into accountability and to keep keeping your head that you're going to make sure that you're not rotating while you're twisting okay because that just can cause us a lot more tension on the client's hair now a tip that i can say is whenever you are do are wrapping the locks and the client has an issue with it saying that it's maybe too tight 